Hi, I'm Matt from Hoboken Horology, and today I came home to a package waiting for me from Namo Swatches. This came all the way from Germany, and I went on their website and I basically clicked on that I would like to have a catalog, and they sent me one. It only took about, I think, a week and a half to get it, and I just wanted to go through the uh, opening process. This is really exciting. I actually had completely forgotten that I had ordered this. Uh, it didn't cost anything. I just filled it out on their website. So let's open it up. I do want to apologize for the mess on my desk. I actually um, recently went through some of my old things and I found a few quartz watches and I wanted to take all the batteries uh, and get them all up to speed. So on my <laughs> desk, I have a, a couple watches waiting for batteries to come. So let's take a look. Ah, very nice. I'm running out of room to put these things. So let's first, I will look at this sheet. First go through the campus. Now I'm going to go into a good amount of detail on these uh, watches in a video that I'm going to do later, but wow, this, uh, oh man, this is terrible. I got, I'm probably flinging spring bars and screws everywhere. All right. So <laughs> it's funny that, you know, they are really going, uh, with this campus approach. Uh, I've, it's funny, I've seen all the, a lot of this online, actually. They are, they, they had a watch that was uh, uh, very affordable, um, the club, and uh, the campus is an extension of that watch. Uh, I think it's interesting, I think it's great, I think, honestly, it's what got someone like me into Namos in the first place. It's, you know, an affordable in-house movement. Uh, that's, okay, so this is the uh, red and the blue. These, I actually have a huge soft spot for. I am a huge fan of the red watch, even though I've heard some really, uh, <laughs> I've heard some really judgmental things about the red. I think that they're kind of a little bit more focused toward women, and then the blue is focused toward men. At least that's what it shows in their, in their catalog. I, I gotta say, this is very, very nice. Like, how, 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 how cool is that to have this very blue, uh, stylish piece, and then you just take a look at the movement, all made in Germany. It's absolutely incredible. Um, I'm a huge fan of the red. The white's pretty nice too, but you can see even this, she's wearing the blue. Um, they go into, it looks like some broad details about the, uh, about the movement, about the watch. That is just so, so nice. Uh, this is really, really interesting. I'm gonna go through and give this um, a read so that I can, when I make my Namos video, I can go through about it. Wow, this is the Hoy and the club. I gotta say, the, the club the club definitely uh, is very interesting to me. I like the way the club is shaped. I like the small size. The Hoy is just so interesting to me because it, it, it it's a dive watch, but but really, I mean, really, it's it, to me, it's not really a dive watch. Like, you're not going to be diving with this. I think my Seamaster I would rather dive with than uh, one of these. But it would be very easy to, to, to dive with one of these because of the, the colors and how simple it is to read. But between the Red uh, Club and the Red Ahoy, I actually, I'm a huge fan of the uh, Ahoy. I, I, I think it's... Uh, I like the crown guards. It, it, it kills the, the minimalistic style of the club. I like how it does that, uh, especially having a bigger face with no, no date. It's just, it's just, it's, their, their designs are impeccable. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, that's insane. Look at that. It's really, really interesting. So... Oh, this is a, uh, oh, I'll have to use this in my next video. Yeah, this is really cool. It is a uh, catalog. You know what this reminds me of? If you ever go to B&H uh, Photo Video in New York, 
they have these really thick phone book looking um, uh, catalogs that they, they give out to you for free. And it doesn't look as nice as this, but it, it just looks just like this where you see the product and they have information. This is their uh, higher end series. I uh, will not be purchasing any of these higher end watches, especially the ones starting at uh, 20 grand uh, USD. It's crazy, wow. Ah, the sundial rings. I I really like these. These are really cool. I don't know if I would wear one, um, but I'm very, very interested in them. Uh, I looked at them for a while. It's You just have to make sure that you get your proper, uh, uh, your proper location for the sundial. Otherwise, if you're in the wrong hemisphere, it, it might not work for you. So, so I'm really excited to actually sit down and, and read through these manuals. Uh, to, I'm sorry, to the catalogs. Okay, so this is more of their broad uh, catalog. This is more of just all about the brand. If you have no idea what you're looking at, their dark line is, is very nice. They, they do a lot of dark blues. This is the Metro, I believe. Is this the Metro? No, 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 it just says all the Metro. Oh, down here it says Metro, yeah. This is the Metro without the power reserve. Um, the Metro with the power reserve is, is the more popular. I don't know if I would buy one of their, their square watches. I, I would have to see it in person to really be the judge on, on whether I want a square watch from Namos or not. Okay, so this is interesting. This is their um, uh, World Timer. Uh, it says it's their GMT, but really it, it, it's more of a World Timer. It's, I, I, wouldn't recommend, I wouldn't consider this a GMT. Just in When you think GMT, you think of uh, Rolex. You think of the Rolex GMT. Pretty sure Rolex was the one who developed the GMT um, complication. You think Rolex GMT, when you, when you hear the word GMT, you think of that extra hand, that extra 24-hour uh, hand or, or uh, second 12-hour hand. So with this piece, you choose, you, you set the time for your, for your city. So let's say you're in Sydney or let's say in my case, I would set it for NYC. Which, even though I'm in New Jersey, I do work in New York, it would be really interesting to have a watch that has NYC on it. And then if you need to know the time zone for, let's say, Sydney, Australia, or Tokyo, you just click the button on the pusher on the uh, 2 o'clock position, and as the city changes, the, the hour will jump. I mean, how how it's such a cool complication. I think these watches go for about 6K, you, uh, United States dollar, which really, I think, is, is really not. For, for a watch that if you go to work and you need to know multiple time zones for cities and you're sitting there and clicking it, I don't think that's asking too much at all. I really don't. I think that's, that's not a bad price for what you're getting. Here's the more complicated version. This is a more skeletonized version. So you can see the world clock. Honestly, if I had a world... Um, I like the white on this, but I gotta say, there's something so cool about having a simple watch and being able to change it. I'm sorry, if, if you hear construction, that's terrible. It's, it's, um, it's, there's been a lot of construction and it is so ridiculously hot today that we have all the windows open. I like the, uh, looks like they have the brass tweezers. It almost has the same ones. Uh, if you use brass, I read that it uh, shouldn't scratch the movement. Uh, nickel plated. Uh, tweezers are better, but I use, I like the brass ones. Uh, you know, George Daniels recommends the, the brass, uh, the brass tweezers. So I bought a pair of brass tweezers for uh, taking apart movements, or in this case, just taking batteries out so I don't scratch the any of the components. There's a Blutes uh, balance spring. So the, the palette and the escapement is, is an important part for Namos to develop. It, it, it's one of the most complicated parts of a, of a watch movement. But the balance spring is, I think, even more complex than having a movement. Uh, at least with a movement, I believe you, you, you kind of have a little bit more freedom, whereas a balance spring has to be perfect. It has to be perfect. And it's, it's quite an accomplishment for Namos. And I don't think they get enough credit for their in-house movement. Uh, and hey, let's go into the, this is uh, the Metro movement, you can tell by the, oh no, this guy is, uh, by the, by the, um, reserve, 
window. Um, they go into so much. It's so important that they that they develop their own their own uh, movements because they're out of house. I mean, they're they're in house in Germany, and they've made their own movement, and it's just absolutely amazing. I mean, I, I recently I've been looking at IWC. I've always wanted an IWC watch. And a lot of theirs aren't in-house, and you look at someone like Namovs, and it's just absolutely amazing. There's the Metro. Wow. Look at that. I don't know if I can pull this off, but it is a cool, it is a cool, it's a very unique looking watch. It's very unique. The gold hands. Wow. That's so cool. So Anomalous has sent me basically three catalogs and one price guide. And I have to say, without making a single purchase, I put my email address in and I signed up for their newsletter. I actually would welcome a newsletter from Anomalous. And I was thinking how interesting it would be to get information from them without having to see it on any of the websites or blogs that I follow. But now is the time more than ever to order these catalogs. And, you know, in no way am I, um, am I benefiting from this at all. But I wanted to make a Namos video. They've helped me out. They sent me these. I basically put in my email, my name. They sent them right to my apartment. It's fantastic. Here's the uh, club, the uh, Aqu Aqua series, which is the Ahoy, which I'm very, uh, interested in almost I uh, was obsessed with these swatches for a while just as soon as they came out at Basel World I was I was very interested in the watch and I have to say I'm it, it's tough because when you like newer watches uh, it takes a long time for information to come out on them so that's why I like YouTube videos like the ones I'm making I try to uh, just talk about these pieces and it, it, the more people you know, I search through YouTube looking for any information, and even when somebody has an opinion, I, I'm all ears to listen to what they have to say. So I'm not trying to justify my my own channel. Hopefully, you're watching this because you you want to hear my opinion on it, and uh, that's why I watch a lot of YouTube channels, especially uh, horology related, because I I want more opinions on these pieces. Um, it's just it's so cool. This booklet, I can't wait to. Uh, sit down and, and give a full read and read about their pieces. It's going to make me fall in love with Namos all over again. Uh, I'm so interested. It's so cool. And I got to say, you know, with the Hoy going after a younger crowd, but this, they are hitting, they want people to buy these as gifts. You know, if they can hit an older crowd, but you can buy a, the, the campus, I think it's, 1500 USD, which I think it's a lot of money for what you're getting, but you're, you're getting a, a very, no, I shouldn't say that. You're getting a very well-made German watch. It's it's great for the money, but what's great about it is that they, they do um, the free inscriptions on the back of the piece, which um, could be seen in one way and it can be seen in, in, in another way. I think that it's an older, more old-fashioned way of doing things, right? It's before you had um, case backs that were uh, expedition case backs, or my Speedmaster, right? Where uh, Omega has put um, officially flight qualified by NASA. I like the insignia on the back of this. I think it it, it gives a touch of uh, a touch of uh, excellence to the piece. But having the inscription, especially straight from Namos, and giving this as a gift is such a cool thing you know and it, it's called the the campus because it's almost like they're supposed to be given as graduation presents like you know you've graduated from college this is a watch that you will be able to wear to the office to me this kind of this kind of sings as a young as a young man's watch or if you're going outside almost like a Ro rolex explorer i don't see them as as a tough watch but i see them as a nice watch and i see them as a casual watch and any day of the week, you can wear this. And I think that's what Namos is stressing with their, um, I think that's what they're stressing with their watches. I think that they went for minimalist, but they went for business casual, and now they're going into this whole casual market. 
So they want to hit casual because they figure if they can hit casual with a fine watch, then people will wear them wearing a suit. You can get away with them because they're so minimalistic. And at the end of the day, it almost makes fantastic watches. And I'm so excited uh, to make, I'm gonna make a top five, my top five choice of Namos watches. Um, I think that it's kind of the popular choice, but I have a couple in there I think that uh, are strictly my opinion. And I think that there's a real reason to, to keep an eye on some of these watches. And now is the Namos time. I, 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 think, I think it's the time to, to jump onto Namos. I could be wrong, but I think that now more than ever, um, is a time where people can buy Namos. You can get Namos at a great price. And I think you should get them now before they go higher in price. They're slowly climbing. I think the Hoys are kind of getting up there. They're, they're a little pricey, I think. But I think this is the time that you should be jumping on to Namos, especially buying their older pieces that have been out for a while. Um, but, you know, I'm excited about this. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my little video. I wanted this to be shorter. I think this is going to be one of my longer videos though, because uh, I got to talking about a great brand. Uh, and hopefully one day I'll, I'll own one of these watches. They're, uh, they're really interesting to look at. They're really fantastic. Thanks again for watching.